album, the Sammy Hagar lesson from his album, uh, I Never Said Goodbye, it was uh, done uh, right around OU812. Um, Sammy still owed uh, Geffen a record, so uh, him and Eddie collaborated on uh, this record. And anyhow, this is called Eagles Fly. Sometimes it's incorrectly referred to as Where Eagles Fly, but either way, great song. Um, something reminded me of it the other day, so I thought I'd pass it along to everybody. To start this song out with its keyboards, and if you want to play along with the keyboards, you can do that. I've got my bridge and neck pickup both turned on, and I've got the bridge pickup kind of uh, bassy, maybe uh, the treble turned down about halfway. And it's basically G, G, C, G, and that repeats. Um, so to play this, we're going to do three strings here. We're going to cover the third fret on the first and second string and play the third string open. Then we're going to go to a double stop. We're going to play the B string at that third fret and then come up to the, this will be another G, but we're only doing two notes. We're going to play the third string at the fourth fret. And then we're going to catch, this will reference a C chord. We're going to play the third uh, string at the fifth fret and the first string at the uh, third fret. So kind of pick those together, pluck them. So what we have so far is this. And go back. with a G to a C and this C we're keeping the G form by keeping our uh, pinky and uh, ring finger on the third fret we're just going to move these fingers um, up a string each so we're going to go from the fifth and sixth string to the fourth and third back to G now um, Watching Sammy do this live, he kind of hammers on the second time through that fourth string. Kind of referencing a G by opening it up. So it'll sound like this. Let me play that part through. So it's da 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 da. doing those same chords throughout the verse are just held. So you're doing G for a measure to C. And then on the third beat, you're going to go to the B note, which will lead you back to the G. intro does he repeat the C and G with the strumming then you go to a D this is where he comes into the verse and then a little walk down run. You're going to go on the fifth string from three, two to open. And then repeat that on the sixth string. You're going to go three, two, open. Back to D. Then to come back in, he hits the C again with your ring finger and middle finger, or I'm sorry, ring finger and pinky finger on that third fret. And you're back into the intro. So that's the whole rhythm of the, the verses and the chorus, um, along with uh, the, the turnaround to get you back into another verse. During the lead guitar part, which I believe Eddie Van Halen plays, but uh, I'm not 100% sure, and I'll show you that in a minute. I'm going to show you the rhythm underneath 
the lead. So what he does is he comes up to a D and an E seventh. So um, I've seen it done here. But it sounds to me like he's doing it here from this D to this E seventh. So what we're doing there, after we do a full measure each of D and E7, there we go to another one, E7, we do four of each. There's two, two of the E7, so anyhow, there's four of each of those, and then you go to a C, hold that for a half count, and then you come with that walk down. into a G um, to C. So I'll show you the lead here. Okay, here's the lead at speed um, and then we'll slow it down. I turned on a lot of compression to give the notes a lot of sustain in addition to distortion and what we're going to do is we're going to come up on the third string up to the 19th fret just kind of hit that note and let it give you some vibrato and then you're going to give it a little bend up and release then you're going to come to the first string at the 17th fret and do the same but kind of a slow release then you're going to go to 20 on that first string, give it a bend up and release. Back to that third string at 19. And then you keep holding that note. See how I give it another bend up? And then Sammy comes in with a little walk down. When he gets to the G note, you're going to come up to the 22nd fret of the first string and you're going to give that a big stretch while he starts screaming. So it's a big kind of a bend up and then just kind of a note, let it ring and then bend it up again. And then you're going to go to the 20th fret of the first string and go back to the 19th with a pull off and you'll hit the second string at 20. So all together what we have so far is this. Then you're going to come to the third string at 17 to 16. So two pull-offs there to the fourth string at 19. And then you're going to move up to the fourth position. You'll come up to the fourth fret, third string, and you're going to hit that once. And then you'll do your pull offs from five to four twice. End up on the fourth string at the fifth fret. Then you're going to hit this G note up at the eighth fret. Give it a full bend up. You'll come to this G note on the uh, first string at the uh, first fret and give that a full bend up. And by that time they're back into the chords. So that is the whole lead. Um, just take those parts slow, do them with a lot of feeling and you'll have the whole song. So I hope that helps everyone. Enjoy.